will be making this presentation. Welcome, Mariela, and I'm going to step here aside. So we're going to make this presentation together with Sandra, and we'll tell you what the specializations of LACNIC's campus are. We're going to ask the participants how many of you know LACNIC's campus. <laughs> Good, Sandra. See. Quite a lot. That's good news. So that's good news. So for those of you who do not know LACNIC's campus, we're going to tell you something about the campus and about the specializations. And for those of you who already know LACNIC's campus, can do even more things, taking advantage of the specialization activities. So. For those of you who don't know what LACNIC's campus is, this is an online learning platform that LACNIC has. This is a cloud-based platform. Since 2014, we have been offering courses on different technical issues related to the internet, IPv6, routing, DNS, and other issues. So here you see the homepage of LACNIC's campus, you see that there are many topics, including the ones I already mentioned. These courses that you have on the screen have two learning modalities. We have self-assisted courses and others are tutorial-based. In other words, assisted mm -hmm. with a tutor. It's important to bear this in mind because Mariela will tell you what the specializations are all about. And here you have the link on the slide so you can access the website and look up the information on your own. Those who are following us remotely, for, the, for those of you, we'll include the link in the Zoom. So as you see on the slide, this is an opportunity to learn on technical issues and some that are not so technical, for example, one and internet governance, which are available in Spanish and in English. Some of the courses are also available in English, for example, basic IPv6. And as we have the resources available, we provide the courses in other languages. For example, if there's a course in Spanish, because this is a process we work on on a monthly basis and on a yearly basis. So this is a graph shows how the campus has evolved over the past few years. Let me explain how this has evolved. There has been amazing development of the courses, not only in the number of courses, but in the number of editions we organize every year. In 2020, we had eight different topics, but in 2022, until last year, we already had 13. In 2023, we have even more, but we'll tell you about this next year. And there were 14 to 20 editions. This is only in the past three years. We take into account the feedback survey once the students finish the courses. This satisfaction poll is very important in order to take the final exam. This is because for us it is very important to have feedback from the students on each of these courses. So based on that, we try to improve, to adjust things if required, and to provide greater options for adjusting the contents. So this has led to a very high level of satisfaction year after year regarding the courses offered by LACNIC. And we feel very proud to say that the level of satisfaction is above 90%. Yes, this is great. And we also receive very positive feedback and suggestions. This slide over here shows how the number of students has evolved and those who registered. This information dates back to the past three years. You see that there is a growth curve in the number of students 
who have registered to different editions of the courses available in LACNIC's platform. So we feel very proud to continue counting on you and that you really are interested in receiving training on technical issues and on other topics available in LACNIC's campus. An additional fact has to do with the number of active users. We have more than 30,000 active users since LACNIC began. The campus began in 2014. This includes not only the students from Latin America and the Caribbean, but also from other regions. We have students from other countries in Europe and Asia, and we feel very proud about that because they really like the training options we offer at LACNIC. And it's important to see those users who registered and those who are students. Those who are registered are people who register, who are interested in the offer provided by Canvas and who register for each of the courses. And students are the ones who, once they register, start the course and complete the course. So that is why there is a slight difference. Now, even so, you see that the numbers are growing constantly and the numbers are very high. So now let us look at the interesting part and let me explain what the specializations are. Let me share a video with you. LACNIX campus now offers specializations addressed at network operations, network ISP network operations, campus network operations, and data center network operations. Each specialization field has three levels, basic, intermediate, and advanced level. Once the levels are completed in the specialization you're interested in, you can take an integrated examination to obtain your certification. There are also options for those who wish to focus only on the mandatory courses for each level. You can study these courses in the order you decide to and manage your own time. Since 2022, you will be able to participate in all the basic courses as well as some of the intermediate and advanced courses based on specialization. The second stage is the following. In 2023, you can participate in all the advanced courses for network ISP network operators and there will be a certification exam. Campus LACNICS grows to contribute to the professional professional growth of our community. So going back to our presentation, we just shared with you a video with the specializations. This is a program that was designed for the professional development of people from the region, and as you see, we also reach other regions. So let me summarize what we just saw in the video. What are the specializations of LACNIX campus? So these are a training scheme. They are focused on network operations and different topics, for example, ISP network operations, campus network operations, and data center network operations. So the idea is to participate in a whole series of courses available at LACNIC's campus, which are organized by levels. And through these, you can obtain a certification in the specialization you'd wish. These are the specializations we have. ISP network operators, campus network operations, and data center network operations. These are courses that are already available in the campus. In other words, the idea is that when we speak about the specializations, you might ask yourselves, how are these specializations organized? What are the courses? Well, these are the same courses you have done so far. Those of you who are already familiar with the course and who also participated in the courses, these courses are already part of the specializations. You might ask yourselves, the courses I already participated in, will these uh, still be useful because things have changed? But yes, they do exist. We have a list in the website and you can check there the versions of the courses and see the validity period. Now, the range is quite broad. You will find that the majority of the courses you 
made are still valid for each of these specializations. Yes, Mariela. So this slide shows what we were explaining in the video a while ago. No lo hace ahora, lo va a hacer después cuando ya no lo quiera. Bueno, no importa. Bueno, pero podemos, sí, podemos ir con. So let me tell you. This is the general overview of the training activities. This is a visual layout so that you can have an idea as to how to obtain certification in each of the different specializations we offer. This is like a path that we can follow reaching different levels and once you have completed the three levels you can receive the LACNIC certification. I think this provides a visual overview of the activities of the courses. In addition to what you were saying, Mariela, it's important to know that the path towards the specializations, although these are based on different levels, you needn't take part in the courses at each of the levels. You can decide the order in which you do the courses. You can start with the intermediate level. There are no restrictions. All right, there we go. So you can see here that we see shortly, soon. This, the reason is because some of these courses are not yet online. In the video, you saw that we had stage one, 2022, stage two, 2023. So by the end of 2023, we'll have completed the specialization on ISP network operations. In the case of the intermediate and advanced levels for the other two specializations, these will be developed in the coming years. We also, and what Sandra said is also very important, the order in which you can take the courses. You needn't do the basic level first and then the intermediate level. So as you finish the different courses, the platform as such will estimate the level you have reached. It might occur that at this moment you are at an intermediate level, but haven't realized this unless you follow this scheme. For instance, uh, in uh, the specialization and operation of uh, networks and uh, look at the basic thing is common to the three specializations because if you completed uh, the basic level, now it's time to think, well, what did, how do I want to proceed with my uh, training then? So let's see, we are going to summarize. What are the main characteristics of the specializations? They are formed by the existing courses in the camp and some that are about to come. Each student may decide the order of the courses. So the and this is a key thing. Specialization itself is achieved once you get the LACNIC certification. And this is something that we are asked very often, especially um, at LACNIC 39 at the booth, we are constantly asked this. And Sandra, if you want to tell people what type of LACNIC certifications do we have? What is LACNIC certification? This is achieved, as we said earlier, when you complete the levels of the specialization chosen and giving a certification exam. In this case, we're going to have two modalities of exams to reach certification. The first is an online exam where it is necessary to have taken all the modules and levels of the specialization chosen. This is an exam that has a special characteristic, verifying identity, because obviously we're going to LACNIC will validate that the person is really um, the person who's taking the exam. And the other modality is the exam 
needs to be uh, in person at two, uh, at two LACNIC events. And later on, we're going to tell you about this modality of exam so that you can have the complete uh, information in due time. Sandra, we can choose completing all the courses. And so I have the possibility of giving a certification exam online through a verification, an identity verification system or the abbreviated scheme, yes, on the mandatory courses that are also in a listing that is in our site. And when you check the site, campus, uh, dot lacnic dot net and you go to specializations everything we are telling you here is there so if we can move forward what is this sandra campus lacnic recognizes the efforts of the students so linked to this training for each level reached of the specialization that you choose they're going to give be given a recognition banner. LACNIC acknowledges that uh, the student uh, completed all, uh, for instance, in this case, the ISP uh, network uh, operations. This is being uh, given this year. So for each level that you get, you'll receive a banner showing that uh, you succeeded so that you feel motivated to go to the next level until you get certification. So not only do we recognize the effort, but we give you awards because these banners can be shared in the social media. And we invite you to check your profiles and to check whether you got a um, Maybe you can already see the basic level for the three specializations. So now let's go to the next slide. Thank you. This slide is just to remind you our address. It's campus at lacnic.net. And we want to thank you. We have we the booth of the campus one more day yes we are receiving questions there people are asking things you can uh, still find us there tomorrow and now let's uh, we'll, yes we'll give you the emails both Mariela's and mine so that you can ask questions but now let's have some time for questions uh, people in the room or via zoom you have a question online. It says, will the certifications uh, be renewed every uh, regularly? They do not uh, have any deadlines, at least not the way they are now. If you, it just states that the student uh, got that certificate that year. That's how it's, that it's going to say the year you got your specialization. So that, in a way, gives uh, a date of uh, validity. Could you give us your name? Yes, Javier de la Cruz, Telecom in Mexico. Well, I was looking at um, the uh, platform and campus learning, and they don't give you a choice to r register, only putting your uh, password. Oh, well, yes, let me tell you, the registrations are done through events. We uh, handle the timetables and each course has the uh, is included in the, in the in the campus website so when you enter you access the link for registration but it doesn't take you to the platform directly you have to re register through the event system and once you you confirm your attendance then the day you reg uh, you're going to get new credentials username and password to have access to the campus Yes, but it also is the same thing for all the specializations. Yes, what happens is that there's no, um, uh, reg you don't have to register for for that. You may have uh, take the courses, and uh, as you do, you are going to obtain 
or you're going to go through that path of certification. Then, yes, you have a certification. You get uh, a date for the exam. But the three levels of the first specialization have not been completed. But there's going to be an open register. To, uh, there can be either online or in person at the LACNIC events. We have another question by Leonel Barredo. And he says, when do, good afternoon, when do the courses start? Well, they're already online. Remember that the courses of specializations are the ones that are uh, being taken in the platform already. So when do the uh, registrations open for the, the, usually there is a timetable with a schedule, course by course, edition by edition, when you have the opening dates and the closing dates, we continue to use the same calendar that we've used so far. Eduardo Sarmiento from Costa Rica. I have a question. The scope of the courses as such, is it limited only to the people of ELACNIC or the public in general? That's a very good question. We didn't clarify it in our presentation. Let's, um, well, let's see what are the benefits. Um, the courses are open to the community in general. What can there be as a difference? Well, there are certain courses, the advanced courses, that have the so-called uh, tutorials that have a tutor that guides the student during the course that are paid. However, for all those that are part of a member, those courses with a general cost are free of charge. What do I mean with this? That the member has can attend all the courses free of charge. If you are not a LACNIC member, you must pay only those with that with tutors, not the basic ones. Now, certification is free of charge. You don't have to pay. You just have to sit for the exam. Once you reach that uh, level, certification is cost-free. Any other questions? Anyway, you can find us. Carlos? No more questions. There's one more, and I think that this would be the end. Rafael Norberto Carrillo asks, good evening. I only see the basic and in intermediate banners of ISB. I don't see the banners of the campus or data center. Where can I go to get an update of the information and the campus? Uh, um, well, we would have to see it right to campus at uh, LACNIC.net. Now, what happens is that the courses of the specialization of ISP networks will be available. As I said initially of the presentation, the tra that training will be implemented by stages. So last year, we incremented uh, two more courses, to, and this year, we are going to complete the first block of the specialization of um, I be uh, network operations. I understand that he meant, if I understood you well, the basic level, because he doesn't see it in the campus or data center, because he already completed the basic course, and that's common to all. If the question is like that, I'd like to know to know whether we understood it properly. The answer is please write. Yes, if you need a more specific response, please get in touch with us. Thank you. Hello. I also have a question. For 
undergraduate uh, students, do you have, or masters, do you have any discounts of uh, the courses that are for pay? And the other quest the question is, you mentioned that LACME members can take all those courses for free. What do you need to become a LACNIC member? Do you need to be partners? Can it be universities, individuals? So it's two questions. Okay, I think that I can answer the two together. The discounts, those that it, – it's LACNIC members that can take the courses free. And it's all those with uh, numeric numbers, IP uh, addresses and autonomous systems. Those are LACNIC members. And probably a university may be a member and they have their own resources. They have their own IP addresses and the autonomous systems. They are probably a LACNIC member. In that case, the person that wants to take the course needs to see in the website of LACNIC who is the contact of their university and talk to them so that you can get the resources. Good. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any doubts, you may write a campus uh, at LACNIC.net. We are going to be here. Uh, available tomorrow too. Thank you. Thank you. So now we invite Marie and let's uh, go on. Now we are